Good afternoon, people. Um, thanks for tuning into the video, and I am here to show you how to get the hell off of Coinbase in three steps or less. So let's jump right in. A um, little bit of background uh, before we jump right in. I do want to say that Coinbase is the biggest exchange that is out there today to buy with a bank account. Uh, however, me personally, I have been uh, kicked off or you know removed four times. Not sure why. So support never really sends me anything back. Uh, fees are getting higher. It locks up. Uh, their GDAX platform has locked up in the past few days. And a lot of people are looking to see where they can uh, move their funds and have the same experience. So in order to do that, first things first, you need a different wallet. Uh, so you want to create a wallet and simply copy the public address. So when moving your funds from Coinbase, uh, first thing you need to do is establish a wallet on an exchange or a phone wallet or a cold storage, uh, anything that has a public address, um, you need to establish one so that you can send it there. And I won't go through the process, the entire process of setting it up. Uh, however, Gemini is one example. Uh, this is an exchange, uh, to me, it moves a lot better than Coinbase. Also, you have an option with Uphold. Uh, another way, if you sign up uh, to invest in cryptocurrencies, use your uh, money the same way you would on Coinbase. And these all have their barriers. However, Coinbase is uh, getting to a point where it's almost too big to fail. So uh, some of these smaller exchanges may work better for you. Also, a um, uh, little bit harder way is uh, local Bitcoins. Not much harder. Um, however, you do have plenty of options to buy uh, using credit card, cash by mail. You want to look out for scammers there and you also can quick sell, but make sure, you know, do your due diligence and make sure you're not getting scammed out of your money. Uh, also on Paxful, um, this is an exchange where you have over 300 different ways uh, to buy Bitcoin, as you can see right here, 300 different methods. And um, all of these meth methods uh, aren't, you know, super secure. Like I said, with local Bitcoins, make sure you aren't getting scammed because demand is very high. Um, outside of exchanges, uh, if you want to establish a wallet, I would suggest the blockchain wallet. Um, if you don't want to uh, move it to an exchange, uh, if you're comfortable with uh, moving it to just a wallet, I would suggest taking a look at some of the top Bitcoin wallets. Uh, not going to say anyone is particularly better. However, uh, Mycelium, Copi Copay, uh, Armory, some of these wallets um, are great with security, absolutely um, perfect designed as far as multi-signature. Um, so if you want to look through that, I have the link below uh, from the video. Uh, also, if you want to use cold storage, um, which in Bitcoin terms means that it's moved offline uh, so that the chances of hacking are much, much lower, uh, uh, almost impossible. Um, a treasure. Uh, I, I tell everybody invest in a treasure so that you can move your funds from Coinbase to another account. Um, also, uh, as I showed before, Armory, a very secure wallet with cold storage, as you can see here, um, that can be downloaded locally on your computer. Also, one of the best resources for a wallet is BitGo. Uh, they have an offline solution uh, with multi-signature uh, technology where you have to have multiple signatures, so to say, in order for those funds to be used. So it is very secure. Um, so these are uh, some good choices to start with for creating a wallet. And once you have created a wallet, your next step will be log into Coinbase and access the send tab. So when you go to Coinbase, you'll see uh, once you access it, uh, like you've probably done before plenty of times you want to sign in which and once you've signed in uh, you can look at your tabs at the top you simply want to click on accounts um, and look at your account that you have and send once you access that you want to take the public address from the wallet that you've created before uh, copy it and here you want to paste it which I have done here and you want to send all of what you have in Coinbase away so send max and once you have that uh, option in there uh, near the bottom you will see an option to continue and you can leave a message for yourself and continue from there 
And once you continue, it will ask to verify. Hopefully you have two-step verification. And once you enter that information, you will be able to confirm. And once you've confirmed, um, it will tell you your transactions on the way. And you can also view details as needed. So the third step uh, got a little bit ahead of it. But yes, the last and final step is to send to that public address. And that is all. And you are off Coinbase for good. If you're waiting for funds to come in, once those come in, do it immediately. And you will be able to access your funds. That's all for me. I'm Bitcoin Zay. And hopefully you are able to get off Coinbase and move to another wallet and move forward in your Bitcoin career. Thanks for watching and leave a comment below if this was helpful. Um, and uh, we have a lot of other tutorials coming out. Uh, so keep watching and <clears throat> make sure you subscribe and have a great day.